everyone! Today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. A comfortable mattress, that's right for me, is a big deal because I already have a hard time falling asleep. I don't need an uncomfortable mattress, making it even more difficult. Everybody's different, and Helix knows that, so they made a sleep quiz that matches your unique body type and sleep preferences to match the perfect mattress just for you. I'm a side sleeper that prefers a medium feel, and I share the bed with my husband and two cats. Based on the quiz, I was matched with the Helix Midnight. I've had my Helix matches for over two years at this point, and it looks and feels brand new. No indents, no changes in firmness, I mean, it is as if I just unboxed it yesterday. Other mattress companies use fiberglass as flame retardant in their products, but Helix mattresses are free of harmful fiberglass materials. In fact, Helix owns its own manufacturing facility, which is entirely free from products containing fiberglass, which is a big deal. If you know, you know. I am a hot sleeper, so I need anything that helps me, especially during the summer months. If it's too warm, I will toss and turn all night and basically get no sleep. So I personalize my mattress even more by adding the Glossiotex cooling cover, which keeps you cool and comfortable while you sleep. Helix delivers your mattress right to your door with free shipping in the US. The mattress comes rolled up in a box, and it's super easy to set up. There is a 100-night sleep trial to test out the mattress and to ensure you love it. And Helix mattresses include a 10-year warranty. And they offer financing options and flexible payment plans. I love my Helix, and I think you would too. If you're looking for a brand new bed, check out Helix Sleep. You can click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash amyk to get 20% off your Helix mattress, plus two free pillows. And with that, thank you so much to Helix Sleep, and let's get on to the video. Feel 71 in here. Oh my goodness. This is improper working conditions. I can't work like this. Good thing they pay me well. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, it's a good thing that this is like 24 hours or something. Yeah, I think it's because of the metal. The metal is really special. Yeah, that's what I heard. Also, it's so pretty. It matches my outfit. Hi there. Are you here for an appointment? Yeah? Wow, it's really early. The first appointment of the day. You're
you're a go-getter, aren't ya? I can tell. <laughs> well, I would love to help you, but unfortunately, my shift doesn't start for another minute or so, and we're not allowed to do overtime. I know. I really wish I could help you, but the clock is ticking. I'll be in just a second, okay? Oh yeah, that clock's broken. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Be right with you. filtered or something. Okay. Mm. Are they even? Is my hair even? Can you tell? Like, one side's a little. And why you're here? Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> Not on the clock yet. Yeah. Almost there. this morning? I don't know, but you're acting like you're in a hurry. Yeah, you didn't take off of work? Most people do. Oh, he only took a few hours off. Oh, oh you know, you should have taken the whole day. Yeah, and then you could have, like, done something fun, really treat yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so much for your patience. Just gonna clock again. Your breath stinks, not at all. It's my breath that stinks. I had some, I had this breakfast wrap this morning, it had a lot of onions in it. Not to mention. 
lunch and my coffee always makes my breath smell so bad and I'm talking with people like you all day I don't want to have a stinky breath so you don't want any oh yeah it's okay I'm not a gun person no mm. Personally, I'm a fan of it. Spearmint's my favorite. Secret password. I sent it to you in your email. Well, I guess I can't check you in if you don't have the secret password. I'm getting with ya. Don't you pull out your phone. I went to joke. I'm a bit of a jokester here. You don't need no silly secret password. But if I did have a secret password, it'd probably be something like, um, peaches because I'm just really into peaches lately they're really like delicious this time of year really sweet mm -hmm. oh, I forget there's one type that's so good um, it's like a donut peach or something now it's in your mouth okay all right um let's see who do I have first up today What's your last name again? Yeah. Sorry, Smith? No, no, no. Because I see a Smith here. Bright and early. But I don't see that one. Um. Huh. Your last name is sent on. See here, I'll figure it out for you. Don't worry. Um, hmm. That time. No, I just. I was really expecting a Smith, and you're not. You're not a Smith. Um, hmm. Oh my gosh. I feel so silly. What's the day today? Yeah, I was looking at yesterday's books. Mm. Oh my goodness, I'm so silly. Sorry for worrying ya. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny. Silly me. I see right here. Right. Uh-huh. Okay, so let's check in. And you have a, an appointment with, with which doctor? We have several doctors. Which one are you seeing today? And if you don't remember, of course, you could just pick one out of a hat. <laughs> I'm kidding. With insurance, it's very specific. Yeah. Dr. K. Yeah, Dr. K. She's such a sweetheart. No problem, though. Let's look at your appointment and oh my gosh. Okay, so you're here because you had an issue with the llamas. I said you're here because you had an issue with the llamas. The rash. The rash on your back. That's what's making it so difficult for you to sleep. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, those petting zoos. Mm. Okay, so the llama rash. Oh my gosh. Okay. Took you in. Make some notes for Dr. K. Llama rash. Sounds so uncomfortable. So how'd that all happen? Like, how'd it go about? Oh, yeah. And then, like, over the next few days, oh. Whoa, <laughs> that part I don't need to know. Don't need to go through the play by play. Just the highlights, please, for me. <laughs> okay. This way she'll know, you know, just, like, the basics. insurance for a moment. So how did you spell your first and last name again? Okay. And your birthday? E-T, or is it just like ST period? You never know. Okay. I notice there's a difference sometimes. And what's that zip code? Okay. Sorry, one, two, or oh, four, five. <laughs> so I mean. Okay. seen a little bit of an issue with your insurance. Which insurance do you carry? Right. Hmm. And you've come here before and it worked totally fine? You didn't have any issues before with your insurance? Really? And there was no copay? Hmm. It's telling me we don't take your insurance. Um, do you have your insurance card and your driver's license real quick? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. Do you have a Costco card? I'm just kidding. I, I always want to know. <laughs> I don't have one myself, but sometimes patients here they're gracious enough to let me come along. <laughs> Alright, just gotta enter this numbers here.
one moment, sorry. Get right back to it. feeling dry. Okay, where were we? Write the insurance. Okay, the card. Let's get the turn. Your personal number is here. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, it's still giving me an issue. Hmm. And you've always, when you get it through your employer, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna fix this for you. Don't worry, don't... Hey, get off your phone. I'm gonna call them for you, okay? There's a number on the back of the card. I'm gonna fix this for you. Provider. Speak to a representative. You speak to a representative? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Oh, you want me to enter the number? Okay, one second. I'll enter the group number. Okay, on the phone. Mm-hmm. You got that? You got the profile pulled up? Yeah, can you say your full name into the phone, please? Did you hear that? Last four of your social. Did you hear that? Yeah, okay. So, um, they're in here today for an issue with the rash. Yeah, there's a rash with the llamas. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. They were explaining it to me. I feel so horrible for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's keeping them up at night. Ugh, oh, right. I, well, anyway, they're here and they're trying to, to check in. And I, I've been trying to check them in. But unfortunately, for some reason, the insurance isn't working. Is there something wrong with their employer? Do they get fired or... Does that coverage not cover basic check-ins? It does? Okay. And the coverage is totally fine. Huh. Then I don't understand. There's something wrong with my system, maybe. Oh, the policy number? Yeah, read it off for me. Oh my gosh. It's O one, not O two. Oh, okay. Yeah, they must have had an outdated car or something. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, you wouldn't believe how many people they come in here with outdated cards. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, like every three months, you gotta have a new card. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, okay. Ta ta, I'll talk to you later, okay? I'm sure I'll be calling this number all day. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. All right, good news. I'm sure you heard, but you still got your insurance went through. You're fully covered. Yeah, for this, you're fully covered. I put it under, um, like, skin, travel skin rash. Yeah. Okay, so we can continue. Except... Did you fill out your paperwork? Oh, yeah, I know you've done it before, but you have to fill it out every time. Yeah, I have strong instructions saying that I have to get the patients to fill it out every time, just in case something changes, you understand? Yeah. Like for you exactly, there's a part under medical history, well, it's, you know, where it says, have you ever had skin 
condition or rash issues and then now you're gonna say yes whereas you previously would have said no so I can help you fill it out um, okay and what's your birth date just so I know whether I should get you a birthday cake or not <laughs> I'm joking but if you were maybe I would go get your birthday cake I love cake especially chocolate flavor although I'm not, I'm not I love vanilla too just not too much frosting <laughs> I hate when they have too much frosting on the cake okay so we got the birthday filled out good next okay who are your emergency contacts yeah well I guess you could fill it out yourself yeah I like to help though I like to get to know all the, you know, all the patients. I feel like I'm a part of this office. It would be nice for you to be like, oh, hey, Delilah, every time you come in. Mm -hmm. Fine, suit yourself. If you want to fill it out yourself, you can. So, there's that. And a pen. You got to pick from my collection of pens here so I have these ones with the fuzzies on the top I also have these kitty cat ones if you could see there's a bunch in here that you could choose from go ahead make your selection this one how plain but okay there you go No, no, you stay right here. I want to keep an eye on you. I just want to make sure that when you're done, like immediately when you're done, that I can check you in. Because I don't want you to have to wait any longer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you stay right there. I'm keeping my eye on you. Alright. Hmm. I'll just be doing some work over here. for me. Which one do you think smells better? This one? That you could pick with? Or this one? Which one do you think goes better with my outfit today? This one's more fruity. This one's more floral. Which one would you rather be smelling while you're up here? This one? Good choice. Okay. Sorry, I'll let you go back to it. on the little patches like if you have a if you have a zit or a blemish you have these little patches you put it on your skin it looks so cute i noticed you had just like one like right like right there and i'm not saying it's like it's super hard to see that it's there and i'm not saying that you know you should cover it up because you're gorgeous either way okay but i have one of these if you want what do you think? You want one? No? Okay. Well, they're really cheap. 
Karma Thimsan. The Japanese. This one in English too, but um, I just feel like it's so cool when it's like Japanese, you know. more than a normal person. going through all your medical history too. Make sure everything's the same. Mm-hmm. don't, um, I don't have that information, sorry. You'll have to look it up. The address of this, yeah, you're gonna have to look it up, I don't know it, sorry. The doctor's office. I do love to help. I love to get to know my patients. Okay. Sorry, I'll let you continue. I know I, I keep bothering you. <laughs>
I can just like one second smell this. It doesn't smell so good. It's my new favorite smell. <laughs> I should have bought two. Mm -hmm. patient. Oh my gosh. I'll tell y'all about it. They told me they have this rash and it's, they got it from a petting zoo from a llama. Yeah, they were explaining. They said, it, oh my gosh, when they were explaining, I was so grossed out. I feel so bad. They can hardly sleep because it's like on their back and that's how they sleep. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're filling out the paperwork now. Sorry, what's that? Oh no, I just a private conversation. Sorry. Yeah, they're filling up their paperwork. Sorry, they had a question. Well, mm, yeah, I'll tell you about it later. Mm. Oh my gosh, I know. So how'd it go? Really? Tell me about it. I want all the juice. So he what? Really? He wrote you a poem? For the second day? I mean, that's really sweet and all, but it feels a little odd, like a poem? What was it about? How beautiful you are? Okay. I mean, but what else, you know? What else does he see in you? I mean, of course you're gorgeous, but you know, you're more than that. Does he ask you questions? No questions about yourself, or does he talk only about himself during the dates? Mm, okay. Okay. So, you know, he's not half bad. So maybe he's just like a really poetic soul. Well, you've always been into musicians. That's really close. Mm, well, I, yeah. I think you should try it out. See how it goes. Mm-hmm. What's that? I'm distracting you. Sorry, I gotta go. The patient needs me. Yeah, sorry, I'll talk to you later. Oh my gosh, and I'll tell you all about Dave. Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, so the other day I had this burrito from Chipotle. And it's so big, so I was like, I can't eat all of this. So I went and I, um, I put it back in that like aluminum foil that they give you. And I thought, well, I'll just eat that for lunch. Turns out you're not supposed to put aluminum foil in the microwave. It was sparking up like crazy. Uh, I didn't even understand what was going on. I thought like, oh my gosh, this is like, I don't know, like a, a cataclysmic event or something. But then, um, yeah, Dave grabbed the air fire extinguisher and then he sprayed it all over the microwave. No, he didn't even catch fire. He just straight up spread it all over the microwave. Made a huge mess. <laughs> yeah, Dr. K made him clean it up. Mm, yeah, anyway. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you more about it later. Okay. Bye. So, you needed my help? Hmm? Let me see that I'll help you. Okay. So... Looks like you got most of it filled out. Yeah. Okay, that part. And a clear street. Good. Oh, yeah. So, from the medical history, 
didn't write anything or anything yet. So, any previous medical conditions? Oh. Okay. Right. Okay. Did you have any surgeries or hospitalizations in the past? All of them. Even if it was for something really tiny. Do you have any um, medication, medications that you're currently on? How do you spell that? Oh. Doesn't look right. How did you say you spelled it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I put a V instead of a B. <laughs> no wonder it looks so weird. Got it. Okay, um, family history. So, any family history, medical conditions, like what's your mom got, what's your dad got, brothers, sisters, someone who knew all of them? What do you mean you don't feel comfortable revealing that? <sighs> I'm gonna see it anyway. Okay. Here you go. You can finish it. I guess. Take that. You can do it yourself. <sighs> Just gonna work to myself over here. working. <laughs> Hi. Oh, you're here for the 30? Um, I'm still with a patient. Sorry, I'll check in next. Go ahead, sit down and wait. It's so busy over here. I have so much to do. Yeah. It's, yeah. So it, the fact that you wanted to do it by yourself, I guess it was a good decision because I, you know, I'm just, I'm just so busy. Help them? No, 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 no. I'm still helping you, so. I don't want to get anything confused. I have a one-track mind. If if I help them, then I might get them like their stuff mixed up with yours. And I want to make sure that you get checked in right when you're ready. Oh, hey, you hungry? Yeah. Okay. I went and picked these up last night. They the cheddar biscuits from the Red Lobster. Favorite. I got a dozen of them for the office, but I figured if, you, if you're hungry, you can have one. Yeah, they came in a huge box. Got cheddar. Bay. Good. Red lobster. 
cheddar biscuits are my favourite. Although, I have to admit, the bread from Outback, the like brown sweet bread, mm, or you know what? No, they're right above Texas Roadhouse biscuits or rolls or something. I, I don't go there very often, but I remember every time I go, I'm obsessed with the bread. I think it's the butter or something. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, continue. Yep. So much math to do. <laughs> I need to start writing down all the things I need. Do you know Genshin Impact? I'm obsessed with it. These ones are my favorites up here. There's Delok and Kaya. And this one's Xiao. Oh, and then my my favorite, Benny. And then, oh my gosh, this one right here. His name's Tartaglia. He's my favorite. Oh my gosh, Amber's so cute. Bado. Oh my gosh, she's my favorite. There's so many. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. I'm just gonna highlight some of the things I need to do. Staples. I should refill it for the next girl. Doing good? Okay. good about germs. Should probably get the calculator too. You were wondering. I'm okay. You almost done? Yeah, I saw you were on the last page. 
You should have read through every bit of it. Don't just gloss over it. You know what they say about terms and conditions. Yeah. Go ahead, read through all of it. Are you a fast reader or are you really done? Well, I can't permit you to move on unless I'm pretty sure that you read all of it. There's some serious stuff on there. Don't want to sign your name unless you know for sure. Like, yep, I agree. I'm watching out for you. You're done? Okay. I'll take a look. Okay. Just looking it over. Make sure everything's okay. Mm -hmm. Sure, it matches what we have on here for you. Oh, yeah, we have all your previous stuff. I just wanted you to fill out a new one just so, you know, just in case. Allergies? What are your allergies? Okay, it matches. I just want to make sure. Don't say here that you're not allergic to fun. I'm a lot of fun. Just saying. Okay, looks like everything's good. I'll go ahead and put any revisions into the computer here. Okay, while you're, you know, in there, getting your checkup or whichever, I'll be doing that. So, officially, you are checked in and ready to go. A nurse will come and say hello and invite you in to like the temperature and like all this stuff. Um, and then the doctor will see you soon. Mm -hmm. You can sit over there. Unless you want to wait over here and you know, say hi. We could get to know each other. You sit over there. Okay, that's fine. No problem. Well, day and I'll see you